Welcome back to Digital Trends coverage of CES 2018 live from Las Vegas. Hey there, my name is Maud Garrett and you are watching on YouTube and Facebook right now, which is super cool because I'm going to act as your moderator. That's a play on words, but it means that if you ask questions or have comments, I'm here to read them and read them out as well. We are still talking about all the fun things with the smart home and with me to help that discussion. We've got Kim Wetzel here. Hey, Kim. Hi. Yeah, it's your turn to shine. This is what you geek out about, the <laughs> smart home. We've also got the tech awards as well, the DT tech awards. Um, and basically, you have to lead the way with all the uh, smart home innovations. Mm -hmm. What have you seen the most and what are you loving and have you selected the award? Um, for the award, yeah, for the Smart Home Award, we did give it to Kohler for their Verdana mirror. It's an Amazon Alexa-enabled um, mirror. It's very gorgeous. They also have an entire system with a smart bathtub. It's pretty high-tech, like what the Jetsons, if you will. That Well, you can actually just um, tell, you, tell your mirror to, uh, you know, turn on the, the faucet with specific settings in your tub and get your tub full. Say you're downstairs, for example, and you want to start the bathtub for your child. Um, so the, the Kohler system is pretty impressive. That's what we gave the Smart Home Award to. I love that it's all about future technology. And really the, the big theme here, obviously, is voice commands and activation. And our whole lives, we've been told that talking to yourself is not a good sign, but now it's the way to go. Yes. Especially to yourself in the mirror as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Absolutely. more on that later. Uh, I, in fact, Kim has been doing an amazing job, digitaltrends.com forward slash CES, covering all the things with smart homes and home innovations there. And while you're on the site, maybe make your way over to digitaltrends.com forward slash giveaways. The name is explanatory. There are giveaways over there. You're very welcome. So let's get back into the conversation about the smart home. We're having a chat with Jamie Siminoff. Hey, buddy. You yeah. are the CEO and founder of Ring, and this is all about DIY security. And I think that's such an essential part of everyone's life because the number one question we get is, what about our privacy? What about our security? Are we safe? So that's the question. Are we safe? <laughs> uh, you know, we try not to sell on fear, but I think uh, making things safer is a, is a great thing. And so. Uh, Ring's all about reducing crime in neighborhoods, building products that proactively will do that. So we have things like this product, which has lights on it, as well as a siren sound and a camera. Wow. So we try to add products and, and features that will actually proactively reduce crime. So that, that's really where Ring has played. Our doorbells do the same thing. And so it's, uh, you know, crime is an issue in, in neighborhoods really around the world today. Homes are empty. And so we call it bringing presence back to the homes. What else have you been launching at CES for 2018? You've got a couple of things here. Let's really dissect and talk about the product. Yeah, so we got a, a bunch of stuff. We launched a whole new lighting, a set of lighting products uh, for the outdoor, including this is our spotlight cam. So this has lights down the side of it, uh, white lights. It's uh, battery operated or powered, very powerful uh, two-way audio, siren. Um, so you just literally, on this one, you can just like pop the battery in. It's our battery pack, rechargeable, and you're good to go. So when you say two-way audio, is that like, excuse me, sir, why are you outside my house? Uh, could you please leave before it, it, I call the it's, police? It's like funny, but it's exactly what it is. <laughs> right. Is that you get you know, a notification that someone's on the side of your house at a time when someone shouldn't be there. And so you're, you can say, and we have hundreds of videos of people saying that, someone then running away. And that's proactive security. We're trying to stop something before it happens. And so that's why we love the outdoors, the rings of security around your home. We do it with the doorbell, um, where you have, again, that two-way audio right at the front door. Someone comes up to the front door, they either knock, our motion goes off, they hit the doorbell button, you answer it, what are you doing? And they'll go away. Yeah, right. Now, this is obviously a very serious thing. And it happened to me four houses down in the middle of the night. Someone broke in while this poor woman was on using the bathroom and it was like the most vulnerable position for her to be in and she wasn't safe at all and it was like very very scary for our entire yeah. neighborhood yeah. so what how are you would your products help in those sorts of situations and why is this the way of the future as well so we also have an app so we we, we call it the rings of security so the ring of security around your front door the ring of security around your home and the ring of security around your neighborhood and so we actually have an app called neighborhoods oh. where people are sharing this stuff um, it's happening at scale today and ring neighbors are sharing with each other so something like that not only would be able to hopefully help and prevent it from happening in the first place, but when it does, sharing it through the neighborhood and saying, hey, listen, this person's walking around the neighborhood just so everyone knows. And because of Ring allowing you to be sort of home even when you're not, you could be in Bora Bora and still join into the neighborhood in terms of making it safer because if yeah. that person comes to your door, you can report it, you can sort of be part of it. So it really allows everyone to sort of be in the neighborhood, keep that presence and make things safer. Kim, this is your area of expertise. What are the questions that you are dying to know about Ring and what they're up to? 
Well, actually, Jamie, I was wondering if you could talk about the doorbell right there as well, because that's um, this is kind of a like this is a video doorbell, correct? Yeah. So we started so cool. we, we started with the video doorbell. Uh, again, we do all sorts of power options from the DIY side. So mm -hmm. battery powered, wired, solar, um, pretty much anything you can do with it. And so it can mount on any home. But what's so important about the front door is that that's where someone's going to come if there's if something's going to happen in your home. They're typically going to come to the front door first, see if you're home check the occupancy, see what's going on. So with the mo we have motion detection in every one of the units. Um, so you'll get that if someone, so if someone knocks, or if they hit the doorbell button, then you'll get alerted. And so now with the two-way audio, you can actually enter into that conversation. It's also obviously a great convenience tool. I mean, we are at CES. This is a gadget show, and it is definitely also a gadget. I mean, it is fun. You can be sitting on your couch. Someone comes to the front door. You know, you don't have to go to it, or you can yell at them, whatever you want to do. I've seen a lot of Home Alone, especially since you had the yeah. Christmas break. So yeah, keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> that's the only way I would be using that. But well, I, I want to talk more about the DIY function, because that kind of sounds like how Ring sets, apart, uh, sets itself apart from everyone else. How is it DIY, and how easy is it? I mean, this one's literally, th this is fully battery powered, four screws, put it on the wall, you're done. Um, less than, I'd say, less than five minutes. I could do it? Uh, <laughs> anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you said that, you know? That's true. I now, mean, any, right. Anyone can install this. And, and because of the power options is what makes, you know, DIY itself is people think about how hard is it to install. But power is one of these things that's really, that, that's when you go out of DIY. And so if you don't have those wires for the doorbell already there, that's a big installation. You're drilling holes through walls, running, you know, literally running cables through the house. Mm. So the battery option is great. And we even have a solar back panel now, so you can keep the battery charged if you want as an option. So if it gets any cool. sun, you can keep it charged all around. And if you don't have the solar option, literally, you just take the, the case off, pop the battery in, and that's it. You pop it out, charge it, just like a cell phone battery. So super easy to keep it charged and uh, running. Begs the question, what kind of battery life are we looking at? Um, so for average usage and so a lot of motions, anywhere from six months, like three to six months, oh, okay. even up to a year. It really depends on the usage, but really you, our average customer is about six months. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. So you have a lot of other products too that interact with these these two devices. Do you want to talk about those things? Yeah, so we have we have four actually four different doorbells. We have uh, now we have the the sort of security in a whole new light we call it, which is this is our spotlight cams. We also have a floodlight cam. We have two new indoor in, indoor outdoor cameras. Um, and then we have a whole set of lighting products that are just lights without the camera that are hooked up so that if your floodlight goes off, it'll actually turn on your camera and turn on all the lights at the same time. So sort of real smart outdoor lighting. And then we also have an alarm system that we just launched as well. So we really have the, at this point, the full rings of security for your home and then even taking it into the neighborhood with the app. So do these devices work with other devices in your home? Say if you had a, like a Nest Cam that you wanted and you wanted to add your camera system to them or, or whatnot? So we play, we, you know, we play with some of the stuff, uh, smart things we do. Um, we do some of the other platforms. We're I think 2018 for us will be a year where we launch a lot more of the platforms. Historically, we've been sort of more of a closed ecosystem, not on purpose, but because it's a smaller company, you have to focus on what you focus on. Mm -hmm. um, I think this year is the year we start to really open the ecosystem up. We're big enough now where other people really want to be part of our ecosystem as well. Locks is a big one. Mm -hmm. Indoor lighting is a big one. So mm -hmm. things like that, I think, are where we can really add a lot of uh, advantage to our customers. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, JP Arnold in the chat here asks, when will the Ring Security System be released? Ring Security System will be released in the spring. Yep. Uh, we're going to start doing beta testing with live customers. And we have, obviously, internal beta testing, but really going out sort of more of a public beta uh, pretty soon. And then we'll be releasing it in the spring. Uh, Marshall wants to know, with a technicality, just being like, are there any plans to have the option of answering the Ring doorbell while driving? Just thinking of audio only. So we, you, you, I mean, you don't have to look at your phone. So just like yeah. a call, you can answer it. It goes to the Bluetooth in the car, oh, and okay. I answer it all the time from there. Do you really? Yeah, right. and I wow. never look at the video. <laughs> never ever, because you're driving. Because <laughs> I'm driving, so I never do Super that. Safe. I pull over, I stop, I answer it. I'm very safe. <laughs> As you should. Yes. Checking out some more messages in here. A lot of people loving the name, The Ring, and they're thinking that how often do you ring the doorbell and the, the girl with the dark black hair is just like, hello. Oh. <laughs> Play on the name. <laughs> I've never watched the movie. I don't do horror movies. Yeah, no, we, uh, it, you know, Ring, Ring's been a great name for us. Rings of security, <laughs> ring the doorbell, ring movie. A good promo. <laughs> Perfect name.
Jamie, do you want to talk a little bit about um, the one million dollars worth of products you've given away? Sure. Yeah, so we do a lot of stuff. Our, our, we're a very mission missionary company. We're all about reducing crime in neighborhoods. Uh, we actually work with Shaquille O'Neal, uh, which we did some stuff yesterday with. But the, the, the great thing about working with him is we actually give away product in neighborhoods. We go and install rings in neighborhoods, cool. especially in places where maybe uh, affordability of so solutions like this is a little bit tougher. And so we've given away over, now the last couple of years, over a million dollars worth of rings every year. Wow. Uh, we go and install them. We've done it in cities all over the US. We're even now doing it globally, doing some stuff in the UK. Does Shaq go with you on these installations or some, some of them? some of them, yeah. That's yeah, he does. Really cool. I mean, he's really, he's a cop. Um, so he's a police officer. He went through police academy. What? He's like a real, yeah, he's a real yeah. police officer. And, he's, and so he really cares about, that's why we work with him, is he really right. does care about security in neighborhoods um, and loves to do all this stuff. I mean, it's a, and it's amazing when Shaq shows up. We did it in the Framingham, Massachusetts, and we showed up, and Shaq's knocking on people's doors, and they're like, I mean, it was a, <laughs> definitely, uh, it was amazing watching the reaction. Yeah, Kim, yeah can you imagine. actually had a really cool chat with Shaq. Was it yesterday on yeah, the floor? Yeah, well, actually, I got a chance to talk with um, yeah. both Jamie and Shaq for a few minutes yesterday, um, and it was really great. Um, he's, he's hilarious. I have oh to ask God. you, is he that funny, like, off camera? Uh, it never stops. Really? It, it, like, <laughs> unless he's sleeping, he's going. Like the, it, the man is funny 24 hours a day. It is. Un he just loves to make people laugh. Yeah. Um, and he's super witty. Uh, like, and he's just. It's just great. It's, he's. He's. It's been so fun to be with him because obviously, like, we like the celebrity part. I mean, that, that helps the business. Mm -hmm. But he's been so sort of part of our brand, and it's not like having a celebrity backer. It's really having like a partner in the business to, to work with us. And so it's been so fun. But he's also really fun to hang out with. I really liked the story that he told about how he actually connected with you guys. Do yeah. you want to share that with our audience? Yeah, yeah so, so, I mean, you gotta picture it, like Shaq, you know, like, goes to Best Buy to get a TV, sees Ring, and he's like, oh, maybe I'll get one of those for the front door. He lives now in a house without gates, and so people are coming up to his door. Oh, so he gets right. the Ring, likes it, and says, like, walking around CES, I want to meet the CEO of Ring. So he comes to the booth, and he's like, you know, you know, like, you know, like, you know, can I meet the CEO of Ring? And I'm like, hey, it's Jamie. <laughs> I look like, you know, T-shirt. He's like, no, no, you know. And we start talking and we just kind of, you know, he just became friendly. He's telling me all these stories. He's like, oh, I love the Ring. Kids come up to it and they're like, you know, ringing. They're like, Mr. Shaq, Mr. Shaq. And he's like yelling at him, like, no way, kids. You know, he's like, and he just does this whole shtick. Um, but yeah, that was when we, that's when we, when we met, we were just, I was like, we have to work together. How long ago was that? Uh, like a, you know, a little over a year ago. That's amazing. Uh, Mason's in the same vein with it all, saying, uh, I'm going to use this one to catch every kid that takes more than one from the Please Take One Only Halloween candy bowl. <laughs> uh -oh. so, so Halloween is like our Super Bowl. Like, yeah. it's, like the, it's the Super Bowl of the front door. And we have so many videos of the take one thing, and they're just so terrible because... I mean, the worst one was, <laughs> there's these kids, these little kids, and they're taking the candy out of the one thing. So, like, that's kind of like, eh, but they're little kids. Then the mom comes up. You think the mom's going to, like, smack a kid and be like, stop taking that, like, one. The mom's like, go faster, and takes the thing, and then just dumps <laughs> oh the God. bowl yeah. into her bag and goes. And I'm like, wow. And they're like, uh, ma'am, like, ma'am, <laughs> I can see I you. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, have a, we have some great, I mean, Halloween, we got, like, just such amazing videos of every you know, I mean, it really is like the Super Bowl for us. Yeah. So if someone wanted to kind of step into the ring territory and deck out their house, how would you suggest they go about it at maybe the beginner entry yep. with all the products that so you have? I always tell people start at the front door. Right. Um, it's where everything's going to happen in your home. Someone's going to come up before they do anything. Even if someone, if you hear about someone breaking into a house from the back, almost every time they've come to the front door, knocked, looked around and done something. So the yeah. front door is always where we start. That's why we have so many products for the front door. Then you want to work the ring security around the home, so things like the spotlight cam, floodlight cams. Uh, the ring alarm obviously kind of ties it together, gives you that extra, it also gives you professional monitoring. Mm. Um, and then the lights are great too, because if someone does come on your property at 3 a.m., we have it so it's interconnected outdoor lighting. So if one goes off, or one of our motion detectors go off, everything goes off now. Right. And so like, that's a scary thing. If you walk up to a dark house and you're kind of creeping around and everything sort of tick, 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 yeah. goes on, you're out. You're out of it. Yeah. And we've seen it, like they run. And so I think, you know, again, for us, it's trying to build these rings of security and do it in a responsible way. It's, a, it's effective and affordable security. Yeah. We're not trying to, you know, get someone into long-term contracts. We're not trying to, you know, have them buy super expensive stuff. We start in the 179 to 199 range. So you can get, really work your way into the brand. And a lot of people like in the chat room thinking about how they would use this product. Uh, Madrid's 01, I love this product. I've caught so many Amazon delivery guys throwing my packages down. Oh. Dang. 
thing. We've also got uh, Red Jello saying, yeah, it would be great for catching those people who steal Christmas packages from people's front doors. Mm. And yeah. there is evidence of that like happening. A, yeah, so that if, if, if Halloween's our Super Bowl, like package delivery is like the World Series, like especially yeah. around the holidays. Uh, I mean, the amount of crazy stuff that happens there. The best video we had from this holidays, and we had a lot, I mean, we had hundreds of thousands probably of package theft videos and, yeah. and the ones we stopped. But the best one was, and it's, I kind of feel bad for the guy, but he obviously was uh, drinking a lot of water on his route and <laughs> oh, um, found an area that was uh, quieter to drop a package and Dropped felt like it was the right package. time to maybe get yeah. some of that water out and uh, <laughs> right on the camera. I mean, it was just... On the camera? Oh, I mean, no, no, like not, oh. on, like, oh. Like, oh. not, like, not on the camera, but <laughs> yeah. like on the camera. You Randy, know, like. uh, Randy Mitchell here was saying, can Ring defend against a power outage where the internet goes mm. down and That's would true. all the cameras turn off? But because it's battery operated, would that affect it at all? See, the cameras don't turn off, uh, but right now, yeah, we, 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 like the internet is, is a required thing. Uh, we're starting now to buffer though in the camera so that would wait for the internet to come back up and then restream it back up to the cloud. So right. doing some of that buffering. But yeah, all, all the battery devices would do that. Obviously, if you have power devices, you have to have some sort of yeah, you know, back up for that. Uh, Randy's follow-up question: uh, Would the video feed? Uh, where would the video feed be be stored? Mm. Uh, does it have internal memory, or is there a storage hub? So we we have with the alarm now. We have sort of a hub that we have for that, but it is right today. It's all in the cloud. Okay. Um, and again, from a safety and security side, we we like to have it all up there. I mean, if someone does smash your camera, we actually insure all of our products. So if they're if they're stolen uh, due to a crime or anything like that, we will replace them free of charge. Um, and so we don't want the, the, the video footage on the camera because okay. if someone does come up and breaks it off, it's already in the cloud and we're able to catch that person. Fantastic. And I know you've been mentioning some prices, but everyone is really interested and invested in what the prices are and when it's available, I think for the doorbell as well. Yeah, so $199 for this one. Yep. Basically, we start from, you'll see them out there. We have the classic is $179, $199, we have a $249, and then a $499, which is a power over Ethernet it's called the Elite. Mm -hmm. um, the cameras start at uh, 199 for the spotlight cam, floodlight cams 249. The lighting stuff we're coming out with in April is going to have a nice lower price point of entry. And then we have the indoor cameras, which will be a little bit less also right. uh, for a price point. And they're all, in essence, a bit of a DIY? No installation like, e needed? E everything we do is DIY. Yeah. Wow. We, we okay. believe heavily that like, you, in order to, if you want to make neighborhoods safer, you have to do it at scale. And to get to scale, you can't have someone having to go out and install for every home. We do do support for installation for some people that really can't install it. But yeah, every, everything we do is all about DIY. That's why we do a lot of battery and solar because it, like, battery is so easy to install. You literally just have to like, yeah. stick it on the house. Okay, thank you so much. I think that's all the time we have to talk Great. about Ring products, but thank you so much for dropping by. Thank Thanks, you. Jamie. Thanks, good to see you again. And also, too. Kim's interview with Shaq, if you do want to catch that one, along with Jamie as well, make sure you head to digitaltrends.com forward slash CES. I'm so glad we got to talk smart homes and security with you guys. We've got a huge day filled with more things. If you do want to check out the schedule, just look on YouTube. Uh, you can actually see in the description of the video, there's a full day schedule there. And if you're on Facebook, there should be um, a, a graphic for you just to make it super easy about what we have for all your CES goodness this day, the final day of CES. <laughs> we are going to take it home. I tell you what, it's going to be a great one, so don't go anywhere.